Hey guys, it is day two of the Sweet Winter Read series. I'm very excited for today because today we're going to talk about warm characters in books and these are the characters that have just honestly made a difference in my life. I just, I loved these books because of these warm characters at the helm of them. Uh, so yeah, if you are in the mood for characters that are going to make your heart grow bigger and bigger and bigger because of them, please keep watching. The first character that I think is such a warm hearted character is Mr. Watts in Mr. Pip by Lloyd Jones. Now this is a book that I have definitely talked a lot about here on my channel because I just love the book so much. And I love the book so much because of Mr. Watts. Mr. Watts is a white man who is living on a tropical island that's completely shattered by war. Um, all of the other white people are leaving because they're rich and they can afford it and they're leaving. And he's staying because of the children on this island. He's very concerned about these children. Their whole lives are being uprooted and he decides to stay and become their teacher. Now he has no background in teaching. He has no idea what he's doing, but he decides to pick up Great Expectations by Charles Dickens and read that to the children. And it makes a huge difference in their lives. And we follow Mr. Watts and specifically a little girl named Matilda and it shows their relationship and his influence on her and what he means to her. I loved this book and I loved Mr. Watts and I really want you to read it. The next character that just filled my heart with so much love and and just heartbreak honestly was Mama in The Kitchen House by Kathleen Grissom. This follows Lavinia and Belle. And Lavinia is an Irish girl who's traveling overseas to America and her whole family basically dies. And she's bought by a slave owner. She moves into this plantation essentially and she lives with a black family. And Mama is the head of this black family. And she takes in this little white girl like she's her own and she just changes everyone's lives. She sacrifices, she protects um, all of the people in the house, um, and she also cares for a lot of the people up at the big house. And some of those people care for her, and it's just, she's just one of those people that are absolute gems, and how she changes this little white girl's life is just, wonderful. It's just wonderful. I love her. The next character that I fell completely in love with was Papa in the book Thief by Marcus Zizek. This is a World War II story about Liesl. She's a little girl who's lost her family and she goes and lives with these foster parents. So there's Mama and Papa and she really connects with Papa. He is this big, you know, how I imagined him at least was that he was this big man and he just had the softest heart in the world and he, you know, reads to Liesl and teaches her to read. Books essentially save her throughout the whole book and in the end and Papa just has this way of teaching her about morality in World War II Germany, which you can imagine would be a really difficult thing to master. And um, and yet he does that for Liesl and he gives her a home that's warm when she's lost literally everything. I love him. Uh, another father who is just such a wonderful character is Atticus Finch in To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I loved Atticus. Atticus essentially stands up for what is right when everyone else in their little town uh, believes opposite him. So this follows essentially um, the children of the Finch family and 
we follow Scout and Jeb and uh, their childhood. And their father is Atticus Finch and he lives in this southern little town and a black man is accused of raping a white woman and the whole town just wants to kill him essentially and Atticus uh, decides to defend him in court and he has so many hardships because of that and yet he does what's right because it's right and that's the only reason and there are so many little life lessons so many little nuggets of knowledge and and inspiration that I got from Atticus Finch that I had to include him in this video. Finally there is Ted from Lily and the Octopus by Stephen Rowley. Now Ted is the owner of a little dachshund named Lily and he finds a formation on her head that looks like an octopus but everyone else knows it's cancer. He refers to it as an octopus the whole way through. Ted, I think of all of these books, Ted is, Ted's my guy. I love him so much. He is a gay character and he has been through so much heartbreak um, and he's alone and the only person that he has in his life that he really feels close to is Lily and here she is with this octopus on her head and he needs to sort through his feelings and it's about love and what you will do for the ones you love and uh, this will break your heart and also make you laugh out loud. I laughed so hard in this book. Like I think people are hesitant to read this book because of the subject matter dog eating cancer is not a really happy book it's heartbreaking and if you are a dog owner it's you know something that's really really hard to read but this is just as much about the joys of owning a dog and the crazy things that they do and the sweet wonderful things that they do I don't know if you could hear Libby snoring in the background but my dog Libby is just out right now so yeah, it's just about the love that you can have for a dog. Ted has so much love for sweet little Lily and I fell in love with him. So those are the sweet and warm, warm characters that I just think you need in your life. I just think you do. And especially in these cold winter months, it's sometimes nice to have a little bit of warmth. So I will be back here tomorrow to talk to you about what is new in historical fiction. Bye.